So excuse my face on the video, you know what I mean? I just woke up. I didn't wash up. I just made a video because I got went straight to feeding my dogs. I thought my dogs were fed this morning, but I guess they were not. So I had to check on my people before, you know, I get dressed. They, they come first. My family and kids, dogs come first. But anyway, here we're talking about adoption, papers, and genetics. Because a lot of people don't get why papers are so important. And a lot of people don't get why other people rather buy a dog. And other people don't get why other people rather adopt a dog. So we're going to talk. And it's brief. It's straight to the point. I don't want to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about it. You see it, nothing but the best for her. I got a lot of chicken, chicken here, chicken over there, beans, potatoes, you know what I'm saying? I got the little cake, you know, for him, I got him a little sandwich, you know, potatoes, chicken, beans, you know, nothing but the best for my dogs, bro. Nothing but the best, and don't get it twisted. Hold on, I wanna say something. Oh, mom, I don't want to put my face in the thing, but I just woke up. I'm about to go to work. But you know what? I'm going to give you that real me. Hold on. It's not what you feed in your dog. It's genetics. That's why we have papers. It's not about feeding your dog. It's genetics. So meaning I could feed a dog this my whole life but if in the papers there's no good genetics you won't see any good results 90 percent of it is genetics bro so there is no bully max that's gonna make your dog look a certain way i mean yeah you're walking your dog training your dog can make your endurance or cut but everything else is genetic so nothing but the best the dog doesn't look like that because of me the dog looks like that because daddy daddy before that mother before that so i just wanted to make that one clear like you know what i mean Ooh. girl you don't have to be sick today damn you know what i'm saying so yeah it's all genetics man and another thing i wanted to um talk about uh, a lot of uh, new subscribers asking me about adopting right so I've done that before with uh, other dogs I really have uh, I think like how many babe, how many dogs did we rescue how many huh he said 20 um but we've uh, rescued a lot of dogs. I've rescued a lot of dogs. And in my conclusion, what I found out was each and every one of those dogs, it, it was bullies, extra pets, extra large pets. You know, I used to take them in so I could find them another place to go. And then I'd find a reason why somebody let them go. Like some would attack my dogs. You know, some would have um, mental issues and I try to develop them but I'm not a mental dog expert. But my whole point is from that, you need time and patience and things like that. Like saying, my lifestyle of reward, given reward and how I grew up, I have to, like I said, my dogs work for something. You know what I mean? Like if you if you want a pet, yeah, cool. But if, you, if there's a goal like me, I'm just messing with genetics. I just wanna see where it's gonna go. Like I told you, it's an obsession. And so, and I don't give my dogs to nobody. There's an application, I gotta see where you live, ID, all that. So for me, I can't. I tried, man, bad outcome, bad outcome. And most people say rescue dogs, they don't rescue. It's just an opinion that they have to fit in a certain category. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's good to rescue dogs, but from my experience, what I've learned, it never came out the right way because me and my wife have done a lot of them and it always ended up bad. And I'm not saying it's their fault, but I'm just saying. 
She's still eating. She's still eating. I'm gonna get the beast's food. But yeah, I'm not saying it's the dog's fault or don't do it. But at the same time, you need to understand there wouldn't be certain dogs, you know, like people like Frenchies. You know, people like Frenchies, but there wouldn't be Frenchies if there was no breeders. There wouldn't be all these dogs you exotically like. You know what I mean? They wouldn't be. So to really bash down breeders is just like saying because there are kids that need to be adopted out there, you need to stop making my, your own kids. You know what I mean? And like I said, there's no good or bad side of it. It's only bad when, you know, you, you're selling dogs to fight or to do some crazy stuff. You know what I mean? But you're selling good quality pets for people who are like me, who like this kind of thing. You know what I mean? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey, beast, chill. Sit down. Sit. Down. All the way. What are you doing? They say you're too serious. Show them how serious you are. You got taxes to do, old man? Yeah, I'm an old man. I got things to do. I act like I'm old and I don't know. Oh, now you want to shake your tail? See what I'm saying? I wonder if I don't say nothing. Hey, what would he do? Let's see, let me just do one thing first. Sit. Sit down. All the way. Thank you, sir. Oh, you imagine him. He be talking to me. All right, all right, go eat. You don't have to beg. Mmm, chicken. See all that? That's genetics. Papers. You know what I mean? Yesterday, she was eating outside. Today, he's eating outside. I'm just showing you, like, my dogs just do everything, bro. Well-rounded. 